Right, hi guys. Uh, sorry for the silence. Just been stupidly, stupidly busy. Uh, so this is going to be a quick vid looking at that study that looks at Trembolone and Alzheimer's and what many have touted of as being that Trembolone can trigger Alzheimer's. Um, now, last time I did one of these, there were some correct criticism that I wasn't as unbiased as I should have been, and that. <clears throat> I could have been more objective with the way I looked at the study, and that was fair comment. So, I've made sure that within this case, this is the case. Now, uh, Alzheimer's is generally regarded as being triggered genetically. You're predisposed to it, um, age-related or environmental triggers. And it is believed that one of the environmental triggers could potentially be Trembolone. Um, now, this, obviously, for users, is a direct administration. But as Trembolone is used in cattle, um, it, it gets into the food chain. Uh, and our Trembolone very quickly turns to 17 beta Trembolone. Uh, and and um, it's been shown that that shit hangs around a very fucking long time. In fact, it's even been shown that it's getting into plant life, which is then being eaten by other animals, and it's getting into the meat food chain that way as well. So it is potential that if animals have shared land with cattle the animals that have been on that land could have traces of trembolone in the system as to how big or how high those trembolone levels would be i honestly couldn't say there is no indication of that within the study but it does make note that trembolone is finding its way into our our plant life and therefore our food chain in different ways so the fact is that just eating meat or avoiding cattle wouldn't stop it if somebody was concerned about it from that nature. Now, obviously, this was done on rats. It was also done on pregnant rats, uh, but it was. Um, it is noted that there, within this study about studies that have looked at human usage. Now, the dose equivalent, it was 5 milligrams per kilo for the rat, which worked out a human dose equivalent of 117.1 milligram every other day for a 94.4 kilo human being. Which is well within the realms of what most people use trinacetate at. So, so it's, it's fairly relevant in that essence. Um, now, the study goes on to say that there are three hypotheses regarding how environmental impact works in Alzheimer's. And the most popular of these is the elevation of um, amyloid peptide, particularly amyloid peptide or beta amyloid peptide 42. And it's, it's shown that, that high levels of this within the brain cause cellular degeneration and that it is very present in certain parts of the brain um, in Alzheimer's patients. But it's not yet confirmed as a cause. Now, it's got a very strong chance of... It's definitely associated with Alzheimer's disease. I don't think there's any denying that. But whether it's a cause or it's a symptom is yet to be unknown. Um, now, what we do know with all this is... One of the first things to know was that trend got fucking everywhere. It was shown all over the brain, particularly high concentrations in the hippocampus and the amygdala, which seems to carry across in the other brain scans that we've looked at in the way steroids impact within the brain. Uh, but it also got into the fetus membranes as well, so it got into the brains of the fetuses. So it's not thinking that it's particularly likely that uh, a mother would take, or an expecting mother would take steroids or even take trend. But if they did, their baby would also be receiving trend. Um, and it shows, now it's only two weeks, which you could very much argue is not long enough. And it does show an elevation of beta amyloid 42, not actually in the areas of the brain associated with Alzheimer's. But the study goes on to assume, for want of a better word, 
that that's just due to the short period of the study and that levels would increase in those areas and it would move for the brain given time and I don't particularly think that's an unreasonable assumption but there is obviously the possibility that that is not true but as it passes through the blood brain barrier so easily and it passes through into the fetus so easily I think it's fairly obvious to say that would happen the thing is what we don't know is is high levels of amyloid beta 42 a cause of Alzheimer's or is it the Alzheimer's that elevated the levels so at this point all we can say is Tren causes similar effects in the brain to Alzheimer's. We can't really say it causes Alzheimer's. And this could be that the fact that Tren will damage your memory and will increase brain cell death in the brain, which we know this already anyway from other studies that support that Tren does increase brain cell death within the brain. Um, and we know it affects memory quite severely. So it may well be that you're not actually causing yourself Alzheimer's but all you're actually doing is giving yourself Alzheimer's like conditions now what is noted is that on ceasing of trend issues increase or should I say problems decrease slightly but there is still permanent damage so the damage done by trend is staying we're not recovering from it this is born out with a lot of antidotal stuff that I'm seeing through users as well with both DECA and TREN that um, memory conditions stay a problem and to some degree worsen I know I personally and I've, I've only ever really used TREN once I put a fair whacking when I did but it was only for a short period of time um, my memory is fucked I mean bad bad fucked to the point where it does actually concern me and out of all the things I've done and all the risk to my health the one that bothers me the most is having a degenerative brain condition um, the kidney and, and impact on other parts of my body I can live with them. you know they're not brilliant but they don't scare me you know, they're, they're, um, if that's the results of what I've done to myself, then that's the results of what I've done to myself. But this this impact on the brain function, that one does scare me because I would hate to suffer from locked in. And for those that don't know what I'm referring to there, this is when you are unable to communicate anymore because those areas of your brain no longer function. At the moment, memory is particularly bad. Uh, and I, I, is that going to increase or is that going to accelerate me having some form of dementia I don't know uh, my mother was a bit batshit crazy when it came to a memory in her later years my granddad suffered from brain tumours so it could also be genetic and I could just have sped up the process I could well be predetermined to have a problem of that nature but these days I have big issues with my memory um, so anyway I'm getting off track a little bit here uh, so what we have found is that trend massively increases beta amyloid 42 within the brain this causes memory issues and causes brain cell damage uh, and this is very similar to what we see in Alzheimer's patients however this particular study did not show it in the main areas that Alzheimer's did but it is assumed that that is just due to the short duration of the study so does trend cause Alzheimer's well I don't think we can say yes I think that's fairly fairly confident to say that we can't actually say that it does I think what we can say is trend will cause Alzheimer's like side effects and I think that's fair comment but whether there's a direct link to the condition through the usage is as yet unproven now this is quite an old study this is way back in 2014 and this has been thrown around quite a bit um, other studies are showing that nandrolones have massive impacts on 
brain memory. Uh, and history does show that basically it gets fucking everywhere. Um, that it, you know, high concentrations in plasma, high concentrations in all brain tissue, but particularly the hippocampus, which is very much involved with memory, uh, and the amygdala, which is very much involved with mood and aggression and anxiety. Other studies have shown that trend, well, nandrolone, shall I say, so you can to some degree accept that trend will do very similar, has an impact on the kind of CB1 and CB2 receptors in the brain. Uh, CB2 in certain areas of the brain, um, I think there's nine sets of cannabinoid receptors in certain parts of the brain. Uh, but CB, CB2, uh, I think it's in the hippocampus, or it might be the amygdala. Um, it gives us a desire to seek out company. It's a very old defense mechanism for depression. So basically when we get low, uh, then the result is that it triggers us to desire other people's company. So basically a problem shared is a problem half sort of thing. But we know anecdotally that trend causes people to isolate themselves, to step back, to be quite cold, to be quite reserved emotionally. And I can't help thinking that this is to do with the CB2 receptor. Um, that is a hypothesis. I have no proof of that. But knowing what these receptors do and knowing that we have proof that trend integrates with these receptors, I, I think it's a fair assumption. One thing I'd like to ask, um, there, is, there is studies out there showing that um, nandrolone use will decrease the reward associated with certain drug use, so alcohol or cocaine or marijuana heroin, those sort of drugs. So I'd like to ask that if there's anyone out there that uses Tren and drinks heavily or uses Coke or smokes weed on a regular basis, if they have noticed any pattern where they're either increasing that drug intake slightly when they're on Tren or if they just don't feel like they're getting the same results they used to get off those drugs when they use them. Uh, they may have notched it down to just getting a bad batch, and obviously with, with black market drugs, that can always very much be the case. So this is very far from being scientific. It's just a general, if you use Tren, or Deca for that matter, actually, and you use other drugs, have you noticed any change in your response to those other drugs while you're using those, Tren or Deca, and have you noticed any increase in your usage? Because in a voluntary status uh, rat study, uh, it showed that when nandrolones were introduced, the rats took more drugs. Uh, and when they looked into it, it was found that the reward mechanism associated with that drug taking was reduced. So you didn't feel as good. Or you didn't feel as satisfied after that drug use. So it'd be interesting to hear if this carries out into the real world, anecdotally. Um... But anyway, I'm going to get off, wrap it on for 13 minutes, and I don't see the point in labouring it. So in short, I don't think we can say now that trend causes Alzheimer's, but I think what we can say is that it has a very similar effect in the brain as Alzheimer's does, and there are a lot of similar markers, and it we know pretty much now that it's causing memory and um, brain cell damage. Okay, right, thank you very much, and I'll try and get something more to you very shortly.